What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Fall is finally here, which is just a fancy way of saying it's football season. I'm sure you could tell by my sweatshirt. Uh, you know who I'm supporting. That's right, irrelevancy. You know, on second thought, I should probably take this thing off. All right, that's better. So, like I mentioned earlier, it's officially fall, which means that football's going on, but we don't care about that because baseball is still going on, specifically playoff baseball. And you might be thinking that it's still the regular season in Major League Baseball, if you pay attention to all that. But we're talking about Minor League Baseball, because that's all that matters right now. So you might be asking where I'm going this time. Well, I'm going to none other than a Trash Pandas game. And you might be asking, a Trash Pandas game again? You always go to those. Well, maybe it's because it's the only professional baseball team within a reasonable drive to me, okay? So before we go, I just want to flex my lenses real quick. I got lenses on deck now. Um, I'm going to be taking this 18 to 300 millimeter lens because it gives me the most range. And then I got this camera here. This is my Nikon D7500. You know what's up. Also, you want to say something? Hey. <laughs> Then see you there. This is Christian, vice president of the Brotherhood, and also the only person that I could get to show up for the game. Here, you can see us getting in the car, getting ready to leave, because when you're off the grid, you need a car to get pretty much anywhere. So, here we are at the gas station. This scene originally had other dialogue, but I decided to get rid of that because it was so awkward and didn't really fit in with the rest of the video. Also, I dropped my phone at the end as part of a transition, but I never even finished the transition in any other scene throughout the video. Well, guys, there's the ballpark. And there's Christian. And there's the ballpark. We just got to the ballpark. We just parked. Um, look at the sky. The weather could not be any better we couldn't have asked for anything more um it's like 70 something degrees the sun is out not a cloud in the sky um are you excited i am uh, i asked what kind of car i'm gonna buy you oh uh, what <laughs> which guy oh uh, that guy oh boy here it comes Oh yeah, that was fun. Look at these steps. They're too wide to take one step, but not wide enough to take two steps. Why do they do that? All right, so I managed to score some pretty good tickets right here. Section 10 row D. Check this. <laughs> Section 10 row D right here. 14, is that 14 to Jesus? Yes. Check this out. Oh, look at that. There's the sun right there. This is some really good seats. Yeah. See, this is called buying tickets when they first go on sale. That's how you get the best tickets. All right, we have moved to the front row. This is section eight. This is right behind home plate. Imagine getting these seats, because these are, these are like 50 bucks a piece. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a, there's a little camera right there. Dude, this is like right here. I'm gonna try sitting down. Oh yeah. Look at this. There's not even there's not even like an actual backstop. You can like put your feet up. Dude. This would be nice, but I don't feel people like flinch so hard. I know. But like I'm gonna be honest, people probably wouldn't see. Yeah. Like it's kinda hard not to. It's just like an instinct. You wanna know one thing I don't like about this ballpark? This sign right here, okay? Like look at this thing. I mean, this is uh what does it say? It says like major fun or something like that. They have these in a lot of minor league ballparks, I know, um, but they had to put theirs like right here. They couldn't replace all of the pre-existing signs apparently. So uh, yeah, they just blocked some prime home run territory. It's not great. There's Smokey's catcher Harrison Winson. You'll see why he's relevant later. And there's Christian. Uh, we're doing this thing again. You think home 
second team bullpens up and going now? Uh, we can go check. I've been getting some good photos out here like you just saw. Christian, are these nice seats? Too bad they face left field. Like, take a look at this. All right, I'm facing straight forward in these seats, and this is what I'm looking at. This is kind of odd. But we do get a good view of the foul pole. So both of us are thinking about getting some food. Um, both of us are kind of hungry. Uh, this line is pretty long. I don't know what we're going to do. I think it goes without saying that the lines at this ballpark can be pretty long sometimes. So today we're going to be having the dumpster wrap, which you can pause the video to see everything that's in it. Here's what it looks like. It's a lot of food for $12, by the way. All right, let's try it. Delicious. The kids out on the berm dropped a ball or something onto the field, so the right fielder had to come pick it up for him. That happened more than once during this game. Here, we see Jeremiah Jackson get a line drive base hit in the bottom of the third for the Trash Pandas. Now we have Bryce Teodosio up to bat, still in the bottom of the third. Did somebody say another line drive? There we go. It's responsible as a manager to try to calm your line drive, give her up or down, you know. It looks like all that mound visit did was turn their line drive, give her up or into their bases loaded, walk, give her up or. All right, guys, check this out. High fly ball, deep right center. That ball's going to be a homer. Oh, looks like he caught it. All righty then. Sorry. Here's the astronaut race that they do every game. I'm not sure why they decided to make the astronauts look so creepy. It looks like the trash panda's mascot is trying to blend in with the common folk. If you take part in a very enthusiastic rendition of Take Me Out to the Ball Game, and then immediately follow that up with a session of hitting beach balls around like there's no tomorrow, you might be at a Trash Pandas game. Dude, Ben Joyce. I've been waiting to see this guy pitch since he got drafted and he signed with the, and he got called up to the Trash Pandas. And why is that? Well, before he got drafted this season, Ben Joyce played for Tennessee, where he threw the fastest pitch recorded in college baseball history. He threw a pitch 105.5 miles an hour, which is faster than any other recorded MLB pitch for that matter. Here's Ben Joyce pitching. You can see he threw the last pitch 101 miles an hour. Here's the pitch and are you kidding me? Here they were shooting a bunch of foam baseballs into the stands and Christian actually caught one. And I know it kind of looks like he had it the whole time based on the way I moved the camera, but he actually did catch it. I almost caught it, but he was the one that ended up catching it. Dude, check it out. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I want to see if one of them was the sign. <laughs> That'd be cool. Here's a base hit. Now, the Trash Pandas were losing at this point, but you know what they say. The first step to making the, the, the first step to making the, the one, the thing that. Now, in the bottom of the night, the whole stadium was standing up. Here's the final out. And I'll just let you watch. So the Trash Pandas lost 3-1 to one to the Smokies in Game 3 of the semifinals, and then the Smokies had to go and lose to the Blue Wahoos in the finals, but that's neither here nor there. Despite the loss, we did get a few players to write their names on our stuff. 
and you get to look at me awkwardly handing him Christian's ball while he's trying to hand me my ball. So that was a whole lot of fun. Thank you. And there's signature number two. There we go, that's another one. This one already had a couple signatures on it. That is Sam Bachman and Jeremiah Jackson. Thanks. Yeah, you can use it. <laughs> Did you hear that? He asked to borrow my Sharpie. I'm famous now. Man, he doesn't get the hat. Come on. Thank you. There's our third and final signature of the night. All right, so we're leaving now after waiting a while. Um, we've waited so long to the point that the only people in the ballpark are people um, getting stuff signed and people waiting on those people getting stuff signed. So we're gonna make our way out of here. I think three signatures is enough for both of us. So that's really all. Uh, we're gonna do here the game ended like half an hour ago and there's still a ton of traffic here that's one of the bad things about this ballpark is that like the parking situation you know you have this huge parking lot out here but getting out of it is a nightmare well the 2022 trash panda season is officially over with it's done there are no more games for the rest of the year which means i have to find a new way to pass the time It's going to be a long off season, isn't it? Mm.